Hi, I'm Lynn. And I'm Leo. Welcome back to Yoga with Lynn and Leo. Yes, and today we can go through a routine to help you improve your agility. So on your mat, right at the end of the mat, you can see Leo is here preparing for her practice. So have your feet together. So become aware of your breath and your stability when you're standing. Root down into the earth and extend from there all the way through your legs, through your upper body and broaden across those collarbones and widen those shoulders. Make space for your breath and take a nice inhalation, extend up, Urdhva Hastasana, reach up and releasing the arms down. Okay, we go again, Urdhva Hastasana, extend up, reaching up into the fingers, keeping the chest nice and open and releasing down. And again, Urdhva Hastasana, reaching up as far as you can, being aware again, of that base. Be aware of grounding yourself into the earth and reaching up from there all the way through. Be aware of your breath and releasing the arms down. So we're going to add Uddhakatasana. Uddhakatasana. Softening the knees, coming into the chair pose. Uddhakatasana. From here, touch the floor with those fingers. If you're very mobile, you can straighten the legs. Otherwise, keeping the legs bent for now. Extend up. And touch the floor again. And then see if you're agile, mobile, you can straighten those legs to Uttanasana. And again, reaching those arms up. Last time, extend down, touch the floor. If you can straighten those legs, do If you're struggling with hard, difficult, brittle hamstrings, then you need to practice this one. All right, take a breath in, nice deep inhalation, Urdhva Hastasana. And now reach those arms to the side, open your chest, and now take those hands up your back into your prayer position, Pashimana Maskarasana. Keep that action, look up, extend, open across your chest. Get this action, and release in. And again, extending those arms up, Uddhva Hastasana, taking those arms out to the side. And then take your hands behind your back, open your chest nicely. Be aware of the broadness coming here. Soft breath. Last time, releasing. Urva Hastasana, extending up, reaching the arms and stretching out those collarbones, extending those arms into Pashimana Maskarasana and keep that chest really nice and lifted. And now releasing the arms, stretch the arms down by the side waist and lift your sternum chest, weight those arms down and lift the chest. We're coming now for the lateral pose, Trikonasana, stand in the center of your mat. You can see Leo here, right in the center of the mat. We're gonna jump those legs into the lateral action. Legs out to the sides, turn the left foot in, the right foot out, reach up again, get that opening in your chest, keep the legs straight, back legs straight, Hinge over into Trikonasana. Breathe, extend up. Once you're in that pose, be aware of your alignment. Outer front hip, deeply in. And again, extending that spine and becoming aware of your breath. Inhale, exhale. Don't forget to breathe. Take a breath in and come up. Turning those feet face forward. Reach up again. Turn your right foot in, your left foot out. Extend up so nicely, extend up, extend over, hinge, Trikonasana, extend through to the fingertips. And again, remember the alignment, just be there for a few moments. Rotate that front thigh and move that outer hip in, really important. And now nice deep inhalation, sharpen your back leg, come up, out of Trikonasana, turn in the feet, jump the legs together, stand there. Okay, so we're standing Tadasana. Be aware again, earth yourself. Earth yourself down to the floor, ground down, lift up, chest up. And just take a few breaths, just settle that breath. So this is the pose where we digest all the information and we settle back into our breath. Just as we're settling, we're ready for that next pose. So we're coming for Pajakanasana. So fingers to your chest and jump those legs. 
Okay, we're going to the left side, turn that right left foot in, sorry, right leg out. Hinge at the hip and come into your square. Extend and go on reaching, reaching with the arms and taking that right hand down towards the floor. Extend the top arm up and over the ear. And as you're reaching in to the palm, the front palm, the top palm, extend into that back leg. And see that you find that extension through the center of the body. And don't forget to breathe, open the chest. Take a breath in and coming up, turning the feet to face forward, right foot in, left foot out. And again, get that reaching up through the center of the body. Stamp into that back leg so strongly, soft inhalation. Come into your square, and bend the front leg, and now go on reaching. Go and see that you continue with that action fluidly, extending through to the fingers, and as you do, sharpen that back leg. Keep the weight, keep the anchoring in that back leg, back foot bone, and don't forget to breathe. Soft inhalation, exhalation. Take a nice deep breath in and come up out of the pose, turning the feet. Jump those legs and come back to Tadasana. A nice extension through the whole of the body. Remember, you have to root down into those heels, broaden across the sole of the foot. See that you're rooting, anchoring from the base and then lifting all the way through your body, through the legs, through the pelvis, up towards your chest and find that breath on a deeper level now. So it's not just at the surface, you can see that it's smooth and even. And just as the breath comes back to that smoothness, we're ready for that next pose. Adam Mukhishwanasana, dog head down. So Leo's walk, um, coming from a kneeling position, tucking the toes under and lifting up. Adam Mukhishwanasana, now go and see that you reach through those legs. So beyond the balls of the feet and pull up through the fronts of those thighs and breathe. Be aware of the inhalation and the exhalation. And now look forward and bend your knees and come into Adamukha Virasana. So reach back onto your heels and be in this position. Adamukha Virasana and just let the breath settle. Soft inhalation, soft exhalation. So spend just a little bit of time in this pose, just being aware of that inner space. Seeing that you keep this quietness and stillness within, softening around the facial features, and just being there for a few moments. Just observing your breath, extending the breath, lengthening the breath, broadening the breath. And now slowly coming up out of the pose and coming into your Sukhasana action. We hope you enjoyed our routine today. Thank you for joining us and remember if you like the video to click on the like button and um, do subscribe so you get the information about videos as they come out. Lovely, brilliant. Namaste. I must say.